Yeah, so many thanks for the introduction. And the main point of this talk is to show how some traditional trading platform uh, components will pop up naturally in the transaction fee and mechanism design in the POS protocol. And thanks to the two talks uh, yesterday, I don't need to explain the mentality of an ideal transaction fee mechanism, which is due to Team Rough Garden. So here you have UIC, MIC, and uh, SCP. Okay, so for instance, the EIP 1559 will achieve all these kinds of uh, nice properties if there is no congestion. Okay, however, in reality, you always have the congestion, and uh, a very nice paper of Chong and Shu showed the following thing. So the first thing is that uh, no TFM will achieve simultaneously UIC and SCP, and uh, there is a very nice randomized uh, TFM, which we call the burning second price option, which can achieve all the above a property and some uh, gamma utility for the users. So here you have some sort of discounting. And here the utility refers to cash or a discounted cash flow, in which case um, uh, the special property of the POS protocol is not uh, taken into account. Okay, so we know that the POS is a sustainable protocol. So, so the same thing is that for a POS miner, she cares more about her long-term profit and uh, is more incentivized to cheat. Since in this case, uh, the stakes are used in the uh, transaction process as well as in the mining process. So this is the key point. Now, Maybe let me uh, briefly go through the setup of my model. So uh, here, there's the reward per round, and uh, we will isolate a miner who can priority cheat, and she will receive the payment of P prime uh, if elected, and uh, I will call MT the total number of stakes she has at 20. And uh, in her point of view, honest miners will receive, for instance, the payment of P if elected. So here, P prime can be larger than P, equal to P, or smaller than P. And uh, we also introduced NT, which is the total number of uh, stakes in the whole uh, POS uh, protocol at NT. So MT is smaller than NT. And here, uh, the miner will consider the lot effect with the payment of the P prime, assuming all the others are honest. So in this case, we can simply write down the dynamics of the MT and the NT. So on the first line, you have what happens if this miner is elected. And uh, on the second line, uh, that's the opposite, okay? And the minus objective here is to maximize the average payment in the long term. So here, uh, that's the expectation of MT over T, and then you just take T to infinity. So this is the objective, which is long term. And uh, the most important and interesting thing is that you have some sort of this continuity for the minus utility. So by a Martingale argument, you can show that for P prime equal to P, which means that everyone in the system uh, are honest. In this case, uh, the utility is P plus R times pi zero, and the pi zero here is the initial shear of uh, this miner. And uh, otherwise, uh, if you are uh, right away the true value, in this case, you have P prime plus R. And uh, you can see that, so there is a discontinuity due to the term of pi zero, you are changing from p plus r times pi zero to p prime plus r, okay? So let's do a back of envelope calculus. So suppose that you also have a discounting utility for the users. So you have the two cases. In the first case, everyone will a bit truthfully, and in the second case, there is a collision, which is some sort of perturbation uh, between the user and the miner. And uh, you can see the following inequality, which says that the joint uh, utility, uh, truthfully, is always smaller than the perturbation, which means that SCP cannot be achieved in this case, which is very unfortunate. And here, we have two ideas to solve this problem. The, uh, the first idea already pops up in the paper of uh, uh, Chong and Shi, which says that you always have a way to shrink the gain of the miner using some randomization. So for instance, you can use the MPC. So the basic thing is that you have uh, this inequality to be satisfied, which says that uh, the joint utility truthfully uh, will be the optimal, will be the largest. So this should be uh, true for all action positive and p-positive. However, so it cannot happen. Since when you take epsilon go to zero, so this will imply that p plus r, which is smaller than zero. Okay, so 
so quite impossible. So here comes the idea tip, which is from the traditional trading uh, idea. So the first thing is that we notice you need some a lower bound for the optional, and the, and the, uh, this requires to have some sort of uh, a minimum tick for the auction bid. So here I will call it the delta. And then the second point is that you have to have some sort of uh, upper bound for P, and this is related to the bound rationality payment from the users. So here you notice that the delta here is part of the TFM design, and the P bar here can be uh, inferred and estimated from users' data. Okay, so here is the proposal. So we have some friend of the burning second price option. However, here you have an additional parameter, which I call a theta. And uh, the key point is that you should uh, put a theta here to be small. And uh, if you take the theta here equal to gamma, you will recover Chong and Shu's uh, traditional burning second price option. And uh, it can also be extended to minor and uh, minor inclusion. Okay, so that's about what we talk. Thank you.